Oh, God, I'm so glad to finally be home from work. I just want to sit back and relax. Hey, Boydy! Are you ready to cuddle up and watch movies? I made you popcorn and I cooked it extra long because I know you like it crunchy. Karen, it's popcorn. It's always crunchy. You just burned it. This piece isn't burnt. Oh, good. I'll just eat that piece. What movie do you even want to watch? Home Alone. Oh, Karen, we've watched Home Alone five times this week. I hope that little boy will be okay. Well, there's a sequel, so I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. He's just home alone in that big house. It's so scary. You, you do know it's a comedy, right? What? Oh, God, my brother's calling me. Hello? Look at that guy, mom's in the hospital. No, Jonathan, I'm not falling for another prank. It's not a prank, this is real life, please come. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, hurry, I love you. Uh -huh. Apparently my mother's in the hospital. <gasps> Wait, hold on, let me get this beat. Hello? You didn't say I love you back. I know, bye. Boydie, your mother's in the hospital? Yeah, I guess. You got Check on her! Okay, I just, I don't know what's worse, sitting here and eating burned popcorn with you or visiting my mother in the hospital. It's okay, Muddle. Everything's gonna be okay. Do you want me to go get you a beer? Shut the hell up, Jonathan, and stop petting me like a cat. Yes, ma'am. What's going on here? Muddle's dying! Oh, look who decided to show up. My good-for-nothing son, Brookie. You know, I could leave. Nurse, what's going on here? Your mother's kidney is failing. What, really? Again? Didn't you already have a kidney transplant? She sure did. I gave her one of mine. Look, I even have the scar to prove it. I tell the ladies it's a shock bite. I can show me. Your mother needs a kidney transplant or she's gonna die. Well, I don't know anybody else who'd be willing to give her a kidney. You could give me one of yours. I, I'm using them right now. Selfish! Yeah, don't even love your own mother. I'd give you my last kidney, mother. Well, then you would die, Jonathan. I would die for mother. See, that's a real son right there. Loves his own mother. Doctor, are you sure you don't know anyone that could give her a kidney? Uh, oh man, I guess... I guess I could ask Dad. Oh, no! I don't want nothing from him except for the back child support for the past 32 years. Ooh, Buchanan guy, why don't you go and ask him? He lives all the way in New York City, and I don't have his number. I'd have to find him. Buchanan guy, listen. After everything Mother has ever done for you, you can't even go and ask Father for his kidney? Well, then why don't you go, Jonathan? I'm scared of flies, and Father hates me. He hates everybody. Except for 19-year-olds fresh out of high school. Yeah, ask him about that, cheating bastard. It's true. I the text messages. Okay, okay, fine. I guess I'll try to find Dad. Yay! Mother, you're saved! No, 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 no I, I wouldn't say that. I'm not promising anything. Mother, you're saved. Hey, Karen. How's your mother? Dying. Hey, listen, I gotta go to New York for a few days. Oh, my God! I've always wanted to go to New York! Boy, I'm so excited! Karen, yeah, it's not a vacation. I, I have to go there to look for my dad. Boyney, I never met your father. Yeah, there's a reason for that. He's kind of a horn dog. Boyney, can I please go? We can go to the top of the Empire State Building. We can see the Statue of Liberty. We can go on Broadway! Uh, Karen, I think maybe you should just stay home and watch Home Alone a few more times. Oh, buddy, please! I want to go to New York! Please, 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 please. Okay, okay, fine, come on. Yay! Oh, God, I'm so glad to finally be at the hotel. That was a long flight. Buddy, buddy, buddy! Look at the view of the whole city! And look down there, it's Times Square! Boyney, can we please? touristy stuff. I want to go see the Statue of Liberty. I want to go to the top of the Empire State Building. Oh, and I want to see a homeless man. Ugh, Karen, can we just make it a quick montage? I'm tired. Okay, let's go! Ugh. Here you go, Karen. Here's the hot dog. Okay, Karen, are you happy? We did everything. Yes, thank you, Boyney. Okay, now let's go find my dad. Oh, Boyney, do we have to? I'm so tired. But Karen, that's the whole reason we came to New York in the first place. Fine, Boyney. Okay, now I think I know where my dad is. I googled this deli so we can find it. Let's go get a taxi. All right, Karen, I'm going to hail us a taxi. I know how to do this. I'm from here. Taxi! Taxi! Ta taxi! Ta All right, screw me then. Okay, that's fine. Ta taxi! Hey! 
Okay, you're just gonna leave. Ta taxi? Ta I mean, you can take a bus. I don't want to take a bus. Ta taxi? Ta taxi? Oh, what's this? That's a normal car. That's just a normal car that we can't ride with them. That's Ta a pretty car. It is. Taxi? Ta taxi? Okay. This, they don't care. Ta taxi? I mean, I'll, I'll take a bicycle. Oh, what about what no, I don't want to. Yes. Can, can you get taxi, 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 taxi? No. They're not listening to you. I know they're not listening, Karen. Let's try somewhere else. Come on, Karen. Look, this one's already parked. Let's get in this one. Come okay, on. buddy. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Ugh, I hate taxis. Come on, Boiny. This is fun. Hello, this is Camille Habiba Bob. Camille is in camel. Habiba Bob is in corn on the cob. And where can I take you today? Uh, the Brooklyn Deli, please. All right, I'm on it. Well, here it is, Brooklyn Deli. You own a deli? No. Then why is it named after you? Because my dad owns it. He named it after me back when he actually loved me, but I haven't talked to him in years. Let's go see if he's here. Boy, I'm so excited to meet your dad. Oh, just calm down, Karen. We don't even know if he's here. What? Oh, oh, hey, hey, Artie, we actually got a customer. Like, we actually have one. Yeah, you pull, pull out the turkey ass and, and the chicken nipples. Oh, there he is. Hey, what can I do for the sexy lady? Oh, <gasps> sexy? Yeah. Dad, look, it's me. It's Brooklyn. What? Brookie, what the hell are you doing here? You know I left your mother for a reason. What? Yeah, Dad, I know, but look, I, I need something. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting a cent out of me. You know how much turkey ass I sell? Not a lot. Nobody wants to eat turkey ass. Well, then why do you sell it? No, no Dad, look, it's it's worse than that. Oh, no. Is she pregnant? No, no, she's not pregnant. Well, do you want her to get pregnant? Because I'll get her pregnant. She's hot. What? No, Dad, ew, look, no, no. What she needs, she she needs a kidney transplant. Boy, I don't need a kidney transplant. Your shut, mother needs shut, a... Shut up, Karen. You need a kidney transplant. Well, what kind of kidney do you need? I I got goat kidney, I got, I got chicken kidney, I got turkey ass. No, I don't want turkey ass. No, no, Dad. She has to get a human kidney or she's going to die. Oh, she's going to die. I don't want to die. She's hot. Okay. Okay, I'll do it for her because she's hot. What, really, Dad? You'll do it? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Hey, hey, Ernie, Ernie, I need you to watch this store while I'm gone. Put the turkey ass in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. There's nobody named Ernie back there. I'm so lonely. All right, Dad, I'm about to give you the anesthesia. Where's your wife, the hot one? I want her to be the last thing I see when I go under in case I die. Uh, she's, she, she's in the other room, but look at the nurse. Hey, how old are you? I'm 25. You're too old. Beat it, Granny. All right, Dad, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, 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 wait. My, my kidney is going in your wife, right? Like, part of me is going inside her? That's what I want. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, put me under. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That takes me back here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Dad. The surgery was a success. Well, I'm glad I could help your wife. Thank you so much for saving Mother. Jonathan, I told you not to come in here. But I wanted to thank him for saving Mother. Johnny, what are you doing in here, you virgin bitch? I am not a virgin. Ask my hand. Jonathan, get out of here. But I wanted to thank Father for saving Mother. I literally watched you take his kidney out and put it inside of her. How heroic. Brookie, what's he talking about? I, I, I don't know. Hey, douchebag. Babs, what are you doing here? You gave me your kidney. What, did you really put my kidney? in this bitch? I, I'm sorry, Dad. It was the only way. She was gonna die. What, you're telling me she's gonna die? Damn it. Yeah. See, now I'm gonna drink twice as much because I'm gonna try to kill this kidney because that's the closest I'm gonna get to killing you. Oh, that's it. I'm never talking to any of you ever again. Ooh, ooh, maybe tonight we can all go out as a family for dinner. Yeah, Jonathan, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. Somebody call me a taxi. Dad, can't we just talk about this? No, I want nothing to do with you. You stole my kidney. But I was just trying to save mom's life. Why? Well, I just didn't want to hear Jonathan cry about it. I'm disowning you. You're not my son anymore. Oh, come on, Dad. There's got to be something I can do to make it up to you. Hmm. Let me, let me bang your hot wife. Oh, how charming. Okay, well, that's obviously not happening. Okay, then. No deal. Oh, come on, Dad. What, what if I could get you your kidney back? Hmm, okay, I'm listening. Now you just walk up to that bitch and rip it out. Well, I don't know about that, but I can definitely get you a kidney. All right, and in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and hang out with your hot wife. And if something freaky happens, you can forget about the kidney. Well, I'm, I'm not really that worried about it. Hey, is Brookie hung? He gets it from his father.
Hey guys. Hi. Did you just walk into our house? Yeah, hey listen, uh, I was wondering if I could borrow something. Like what? Milk, egg, sugar? Yeah, something simple like that. Just, uh, a human kidney. A human kidney? Yeah. Why do you need one of those? Are you sick? Oh no, nothing like that. It's just, it's kind of a long story. Well, we need to hear this long story if you're gonna ask for one of our kidneys. Well, I mean, it's a pretty typical situation. You know, my mom needed a kidney because she has a drinking problem, so I tricked my dad into giving her one of his kidneys by telling him that my wife needed a kidney, but now he's mad because he hates my mom because they're divorced, and now he wants his kidney back that he gave to her, but she won't give it back because she hates him because he cheated on her with a 20-year-old, and that's a whole nother story. But, so now I have to find a new kidney to give him to tell him that it's the one that he gave to my mom. You know, typical family drama. Well, we're not giving you one of our kidneys. Oh, come on, pretty please. Well, no, no, we're not giving you a stupid kidney. That's so dumb. Just give him one of yours. No, I, I need mine. Come well, on, well, I just need one of your kidneys. Like, you guys can rock, paper, scissors for it. The winner not? can give me the kidney. No! No, okay, fine. Then the loser can give me the kidney. I don't care. We're not playing rock, paper, scissors. Okay, fine. Flip a coin or something. We're, we're not giving you a kidney. I'm sorry. I thought you guys were my friends. We are your friend. Well, friends give friends dad's kidneys. No, why don't you just go ask a bum for a kidney? I don't know any bums. Ask Chef Pee Pee. Well, that's mean. Well, listen, he's probably probably not using his kidneys and he'll probably sell you one for some money. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can talk to him. <laughs> hey, no, not right now, Junior. I'm cooking. Wait, wait, you're not Junior. No, I'm not. Wait, what are you doing here? What do you want? Well, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. God, why does everybody want a favor from PP? What do you want from me? Well, now that I've seen your attitude, I'm kind of scared to ask. Good, don't ask. Well, I, I was just wondering if you would sell me something. I'll do anything for money. <laughs> anything. Oh, okay, okay, great, because I have $5,000 here. Whip it out, right now. What? I'll do it. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 not that. No, I, I, I was wondering if I could buy one of your kidneys. <laughs> oh, 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 good thing. Good thing you asked for a kidney. Because <laughs> I'll never do the other thing. Never, ever. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the cutter right now. I'll do it for the money. <laughs> R really? Right here? Yes, if I could watch the money while you cut. But, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> uh... Huh, thanks for the kidney. No, thank you for the money. Oh, I'll do the other thing for free, though. No, I'm good. Come back and love me! So, uh, does the carpet match the drapes? Actually, we were thinking about changing the color. Shave the carpet. Hey, Dad, 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 I get your kidney back. See, see, you see it, Dad? Oh, that's actually mine? No, no, give me that. See, this could be you, and this kidney could be my balls. I, okay, Dad, just focus on the kidney. Oh, give it here. Let me see this thing. Hey there, kidney. I missed you. You know what, kid? I forgive you. Really, Dad? Yeah, I do. What about me, Fajo? Do you love me too? Please? Jonathan, get out of here, you virgin bitch! and Mighty Apples in my Happy Meal. Marvel Studios, Thor, Love and Thunder, in theaters July 8th, rated PG-13. Ah, oh, Daddy! I sneezed and the snot's hanging out of my nose. I need you to grab it. Ew, Jeffy, grab a tissue. That's disgusting. I'll try biting it. Well, don't bite it, Jeffy. That's gross. <laughs> don't lick it, Jeffy. Look, we have to grab a tissue or something. No, Daddy, I need you to pull it. Hurry. Uh, oh, this is so gross. Ew, Jeffy. Hey, oh! Thanks, Danny. Look, Jerry, that is disgusting. Look, look, you are annoying me today. What, what happened to your pencil? Oh, I put it right here, Danny, so I could sneeze. Wait, it doesn't hurt your brain? What brain? That's right, you don't have a brain. Look, Jeffy, you're annoying me. I just want to have a relaxing day inside. So go outside and do something fun. Oh, like go around your neighborhood and take pictures of the cat's buttholes and make a collage and put it on your refrigerator? No, that's disgusting, Jeffy. Don't. CBC! Cat butt collage! No, Jeffy, how about you go fishing in the lake? Fishing? Yeah, yeah, look, look, look at this. Here's a fishing pole, Jeffy. It's a Spider-Man pole. Daddy, why you got Spider-Man's pole? You like it when he shoots his web? You think that's hot? Jeffy, shut up. Just go outside and try to catch something in the lake. If you catch something, I'll give you a prize. Really, Daddy? What's the prize? I don't know. You have to catch something in the lake first to find out. Okay, Daddy. He's never going to catch anything in that lake. There's no fish in it. All right, little fishies. Prepare to suck my pole. 
Oh man, I guess the fishies aren't biting today. Oh, what? What is that? Oh, Paul, I think I got something. I'ma reel you in, you big bastard. Yeah. What is that? Daddy, I caught something. Daddy, 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 I caught something. Daddy? Daddy, wake up! Daddy, I caught something! Daddy, look! <laughs> Wow, Jeffy, what did you just do to me? I wanted to show you what I caught, Daddy. Jeffy, that's a jellyfish. There's no way you caught a jellyfish in the lake. Well, I did, Daddy. I'm like SpongeBob out here. Oh my God, my face is in so much pain. Call a doctor, Jeffy. Call a doctor. Hey, Leah, somebody call a doctor. Ah! Oh my God, Jesus, what happened to your face? Oh, my son put a jellyfish in my face and it stung me. Ouch, that sucks. Yeah, I get stung by a jellyfish one time. I'm in so much pain. Please help. Hey, hey, hey! If I'm gonna listen to your story, you have to listen to mine. Ah! So I got stung by a jellyfish last summer. Yeah, I. I remember it just like it was this summer, but it was last summer. I was at the beach with my wife Karen, she was sunbathing, and all the lifeguards thought she was a beached whale, so they wanted to blow her up, because that's what they do to beached whales, and I was like, no, 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 that's not a beached whale, that's just my wife, and I was making this sandcastle, and oh, it was the coolest sandcastle ever, you should have seen it, and then out of nowhere, this huge wave comes and just wipes out my sandcastle, so I'm like, bitch-ass ocean, so I run into the water and I start throwing haymakers, trying to teach that ocean a lesson. But then the problem is I can't really swim too good and I get caught in a rip current so I get sucked out to sea and the lifeguard sees me but he can't swim either. I mean what a terrible lifeguard. What kind of lifeguard can't swim? So I'm just out there drowning and I think I'm going to die so I'm looking for any way I can to save myself and then I see this jellyfish. So I'm thinking oh I can just grab onto this jellyfish and ride him to shore. So I grab onto the jellyfish's tentacles and he starts stinging the shit out of my hands. So I'm like bitch ass jellyfish and I start throwing haymakers. And Every time I hit the jellyfish, he's just stinging me more and more. And I'm in so much pain, I'm getting stung by a jellyfish, and I'm still drowning. I'm like five feet underwater by this point. And then, and then I see a scuba diver. And he sees me, and he puts his oxygen mask on me so I can breathe. And he takes me back to shore, and I thank him. And as I'm walking up the beach, I step on a seashell. And I'm like, bitch-ass seashell. So I start throwing haymakers. And then every time I hit the, I hit the sand, it's just hurting my hands more and more. And I'm realizing it's because that jellyfish stung me. So then I go back into the ocean to find that bitch-ass jellyfish and then I go out there and the jellyfish pulls up in a box Chevy with all his buddies and they start kicking my ass and they're stinging me all over the place and one of them gave me a wet willy sting right in the ear that hurt like hell so then I get stung up and it's just a whole big problem and then finally I'm done at the beach and my wife won't even take me to McDonald's afterwards so yeah, that's why I don't go to the beach anymore. Can you please help me? I'm in so much pain. Were you even listening to my story? Yeah, I was. Whatever. Look, I need a lot of help. My my face hurts. Do I have to tell you another jellyfish story? Because I have one. Oh, no, no, please, please don't tell me no, more no, stories. No, no, don't worry. It'll be quick. So me and my wife were scuba diving off the coast of Australia, right? And then we come up on this big, dark, scary trench. And my wife wants to go through the trench, but I want to go over the trench because it's a scary trench. I'm, I'm saying there has to be monsters in there. So we decide to go over the trench, and we see this cute little jellyfish. And my wife names it Squishy, and she starts touching it. And I'm like, don't touch it. It's a jellyfish. And then, next thing we know, there's all these jellyfish all around us. And then we're, like, surrounded by jellyfish. We're in, like, a goddamn forest of jellyfish. And I'm like, oh no, what are we gonna do? We're gonna get stung to death by all these jellyfish. But then we realize we can get through the jellyfish by bouncing on top of them. So then we start having, like, a jellyfish race to see who can get through the jellyfish forest the fastest. And I win, obviously. And then I look back, and I see my wife, and she's all tangled up in jellyfish tentacles getting stung. So I'm like, oh god, I gotta go back and get her. So I go back, and I'm getting stung by all the jellyfish and I get stung so much I black out and when I wake up I'm on the back of a sea turtle and he calls me jelly man because I took on the jellies and he's like you were like whoa and I was like whoa and I was like wait this is this is finding Nemo this didn't happen to me this this happened in finding Nemo damn it I gotta stop doing that well, listen I'm in a lot of pain I don't have time for you to waste any more time my face hurts I got stung by this jellyfish can you please help me okay hold on let me get my phone so I can google what kind of jellyfish this is all right let's look at this jellyfish yeah what kind of jellyfish is it oh my god no 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 oh god please no what what what, what? my wife is cooking pot roast for dinner oh god that's so gross it's all chewy and disgusting what kind of jellyfish is this you know one time my wife cooked pot roast and I spent all day just chewing it, just 
just chewing and chewing and chewing. I'm like, why you gotta be so chewy, you bitch ass pot roast? So I started throwing haymakers. Can you please find out what kind of jellyfish this is? My face is in so much pain. Oh, right, yeah, I guess I'll just Google, uh, balls in jellyfish. Oh, God, ew, don't Google that. Oh, why would you even do that? Look at that. Ew, what's he doing to that jellyfish? Oh, I don't know. I'm just screenshot. Can we please find out what kind of jellyfish this is? You're wasting so much time. Yeah, you know what? I actually know somebody who knows a lot about jellyfish. I'll just call my buddy Sponge Robert Square Shirt. Hold on, let me find his number. All right, it's ringing. Hello? Hey, Robert, it's me, Brooklyn Guy. Oh, hey, Brooklyn Guy. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing's funny. But listen, I got this jellyfish here, and I need you to tell me what kind it is. Ooh, I love jellyfishing. Me and Patrick go all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't ask that. But look, it, it, it's a blue jellyfish that has balls in it. Have you ever tried jellyfish jelly on a Krabby Patty? It's so yummy. <laughs> yeah, that does sound pretty yummy. But can we please stay on track? It, it's a blue jellyfish. Wait, did you say a blue jellyfish? That's no name. Mr. Krabs is going to put it in a factory if you don't give him back. Okay, you have been no help at all. I'm sorry about that, man. Listen, you're a doctor for God's sake. Find out what kind of jellyfish it is. What if I die? Oh, oh, you know what? I bet we can take a picture of it and then post that picture on some kind of jellyfish form and maybe somebody will recognize it. Oh, look, somebody knows what it is. What is it? What is it? It looks like it's the rare freshwater Westheimer blue tang accordion box jellyfish. Is it dangerous? Well, it says here it's the most venomous jellyfish in the world. Venomous? Am I going to die? Uh, five minutes after you get stung, it can cause brain hemorrhaging, and then your organs are going to shut down. No, 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 no. Okay, is there any way to stop it? Is there a way to stop it? It says the only way to stop it is you have to pee on the wound. Pee on the wound? No one is going to pee on my face. I'll do it, Daddy. No, no, I'm not going to let anyone pee on my face. Well, I guess you're going to die then. What? I mean, uh... Okay, fine. If anyone's gonna do it, I want you to do it. You're a doctor. Me? Oh, I would be honored. You hear that, Mrs. Stevenson, my third grade teacher? I am somebody now. I'm gonna pee on a man's face. Well, listen, let's just hurry up and get this over with. I just, just do it. Okay, what do you want to do? I'm excited now. Uh, we're not gonna do it on the couch. Oh, yeah, this is too nice of a couch to save your life on. Yeah, we could just we could just do it in the bathroom. All right, lead the way, piss face. Well, I'm, I'm not that yet. Soon to be piss face. Oh, uh, listen, uh, is your pee at least clean? Uh, I mean, I gotta warn you, I drink a lot of sodas and eat a lot of asparagus, so my pee's gonna be stinky. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't... I don't want to know that. You shouldn't have told me that. I, listen, let, let's just get this over with. Okay, so we're in the bathroom. Okay, I, I guess let's do it. Yeah, just just, just start. Just do it. Just get over with. Um, can I shave first? Shave? Why do you gotta shave? Well, I haven't shaved in a while, and I feel kind of gross down there. I don't care. I'm not gonna be looking at it. Just, just pee on my face. Okay, but like, I'm a grower, not a shower, so can I get it started a little bit? No! No, I don't, I'm not gonna be looking at that. Just, 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 just hurry up and save my life. Can you at least close your eyes? I don't want you looking at it. I would close my eyes, but my eyes hurt too bad to close them. Uh, okay, so how are we gonna do this? Uh, okay, how about this? How about you start peeing on the back of my head, and then I'll turn around really quick, it goes on my face. You want me to pee on your back and your face? I'm gonna start charging at this uh, point. I just went, okay, how about this, how about this, how about this? Okay, look, I'll be down here by the bathtub. You start peeing, and then you just turn real quick and aim it at my face. Hmm. I don't know, I think I'm gonna get pee all over your bathroom. I don't care, just do it! Or, 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 or how about this? I'll start, in the, I'll start in the toilet. Uh, I don't like that I know you're in there. Okay, how about this, how about this? How about I leave the bathroom, and then you get in the toilet, and then I come in and pretend I'm just peeing like normal, and then I'll pee right on your face, but I won't look at you, I'll, I'll just stare up here, okay? Okay, I like that, okay, leave. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Oh man, I sure do have to pee. Okay, here I go. Oh god, no, this isn't gonna work. I definitely can't do it now. You look like some kind of piss goblin. Well, you just had supposed to do it. You weren't even supposed to look. Yeah, I know, but I had to lift the seat and you were just there and it was creepy. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Like, how about you just pee in a cup and throw it on my face? No, I think it has to be fresh out of my body. Does it say that on the website? I don't know, maybe. I think so. Okay, look, okay, we gotta find a way to do this. Like, um... What if I just lay it on my back and just I pee on myself? I, I don't I don't think so. I think it has to be somebody else's pee. Why? I don't know, that just makes sense to me. Okay, okay listen, um... Oh man, um... You wanna just do it in the shower? Okay, let's, let's get in the shower, okay. and then once we're in the shower, we'll feel better. Yeah. Okay, we're in the shower, let's do this. Okay, let's do it. Well, why do you have your clothes off? Well, I'm not gonna have my clothes on in the shower. You're not getting wet! Well, this way it feels more normal, like I'm just peeing in the shower. Well, okay, then just hurry up and do it. Well, maybe you should take your clothes off too. What? No, I don't need to take my clothes off. Well, you're gonna get pee all over them. I don't care, I just want you to save my life. Just, just hurry up and do it. Okay, uh... Well, why, why aren't you doing it? I don't have to go right now. You don't have to go, you just said you drink a lot of sodas. I do, but for some reason I can't go. Well, okay, well what can I do to make you more comfortable? We, we gotta hurry up and do this. Uh, maybe, maybe if you pee your pants, that'll help. Well, why would me peeing my pants help you pee? Because we're both peeing, then it's not weird. What, what are you, five? You, we, we both need to pee at the same time? Look, it'll help me pee, just do it. Oh, okay, okay, I'll pee my pants, just, just go. Okay, just on, on three, we'll both pee. Three, two, one. I'm doing it! <laughs> Well, uh, 
Thank you for saving my life. Sure thing. Anytime, man. You know, I actually kind of liked it. I think I'm weirdly into it. Jeffy, you're going to get rid of this jellyfish because I don't want it stinging me because I don't want to get peed on again. Well, I wanted to keep him, Daddy. You're not keeping this jellyfish. Throw it back in the lake. Look, I don't care what you do with it. Just, just get rid of it. Just, just put it somewhere. I don't care. <laughs> ah! back to the bathroom. You know, this actually kind of reminds me of this one time when the SML question popped up and... The Minions are coming to IHOP with an all-new menu you're going to love. Uh, sir, we just cleaned the windows. <laughs> Enjoy the Minions menu at IHOP. For a limited time, kids eat free. And catch Minions, The Rise of Gru, only in theaters. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Uh, I don't know. I'm bored, dude. Yeah, I think I get a bit of a sweet tooth today. You guys want to get some sweets? Let's get some sweets. You're so gay, Cody. Hey, you can't say that. Why, your month is over with. We're into July. You can't get two months. Yeah, now you're being greedy, dude. Wait a minute. Why is Black History Month the shortest month? I don't know. Haven't we been through enough, huh? Yeah, you only get 28 days, and sometimes you get 29 days. And the Super Bowl's in February, so half the month people are thinking about football. Yeah, nobody's thinking about us during that month. Wait, wait a minute. Does, doesn't June have Juneteenth, the day slavery ended? Mm -hmm. So Black History Month should be in June, and Gay Pride Month should be in February. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay, I don't know why you're yelling at me. I didn't pick the month. So it's settled then. Black History Month is now in June, and Gay Pride Month is in February. Yep, sounds fair to me. So you guys want to get some sweets or not? Oh, yeah. Let's get some ice cream. On me. Whoa, dude, that's a lot of dough. Yeah, Junior, that's a lot of quiche. You're paid paid. Friggin' Junior Bezos over here. Nah, Junior Musk. Yeah, you're the king of paidopolis. I get it, guys. I have a lot of cash. Where'd you get all this money from? Yeah, you know your dad doesn't give you this type of allowance. Well, I've been having like a side hustle where I sell something. Sell what? I can't tell you. Well, you better tell me what you're selling, because if you're selling on my turf, you better break me off, or I'm a bust a cap of your ass. Oh, no, 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 Joseph, it's nothing that you're selling. It's something else. Okay. Yeah, I'm selling something that it kind of involves Cody. What, me? What, what does it have to do with me? Well, I don't want to tell you. I don't want you to steal my idea. Well, well but if it's about me, I should know. I don't want to tell you. Well, well you have to tell me if... I, wait, are you selling my nudes? Well, no. Well, you better tell me what it is. I'm not going to tell you. God damn it, tell me! Uh, okay, look, I, I'd rather show you. Let, let me go grab it. Grab it? All right, Cody, promise me you won't get mad. Well, that depends on what it is. Oh, you're going to love it, trust me. Introducing... The Cody Dork Plush. What, what the hell is that? Now, don't get upset. Let me explain. You know how me and Joseph bully you every day? Yeah. And you get upset? Yeah. And it hurts your feelings? Yeah. And you cry? Yes. But it makes us feel better about ourselves? Wait, okay. Listen, millions of kids around the world get bullied every day, and they get upset, and the bully gets in trouble, and it causes a whole bunch of problems, right? So instead of bullies bullying little kids that are innocent, bullies can just buy the Cody Dork Plush, and they can bully it and take their anger out on it, and no one's feelings will get hurt. Dude, that's a genius idea. How did you come up with this? I don't know. It's just laying down thinking about it and I was like, oh, this is a genius idea. Oh, dude, I gotta try this out. Yeah, try it out. Now call them names and hit them. Okay. Stupid nerd. Why do you wear glasses, loser? Huh? Huh? Is it because you don't have any friends? Ha! <laughs> Dork! Uh -huh, see, I, I love it. See? Now, Cody, see? See how your feelings didn't get hurt and Joseph feels better about himself? A lot better, dude. But Junior, I'm not okay with any of this. Wait, why aren't you okay with it? You're not okay with stopping bullying? Well, no, I don't like that it looks like me. It looks nothing like you, Cody. What, what are you talking about? He's even wearing the same clothes as me. No, his shorts are darker. Well, his name is literally the Cody Dork. Plush. It's Cody with a K. I don't care, Junior. That's clearly based on me. No, you don't have the Island Boys haircut. Okay, you know what, Junior? I could sue you for using my image without my permission. What? Sue me? What? No, I, I just, I just made five thousand of them. You can't sue me right now. What, five thousand? How are you making five thousand of these? I got a friend in China with a factory. Who do you know that lives in China? Hey, Junior, your order for five thousand Cody Dork plushes just shipped. Thank you, Sensei. What, 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 Junior, who is buying all of these? I have a lot of people. I'm making a lot of money from this, Cody. What, Junior, you didn't even offer to give me any of the money. You never asked for any of it. Can I have some of the money? No. Okay, then I'm suing you. I was going to buy you ice cream. I thought that was going to be enough. Ice cream is not going to make up for this. Oh, but now I'm not going to buy you ice cream because you're threatening to sue me. Well, I am going to sue you because you're using this and you're making money without my permission. Listen, I came up with this all on my own. I didn't steal your image. I, I thought of it all by myself. Junior, you never would have thought of this if you hadn't met me first. Okay, wow. You're going to take all the credit for something I 
I worked so hard for and made? It's literally my face. No, it's Joseph. Who does that look like? Uh, I don't know, dude. Say, look, he doesn't even know. What are you guys talking about? That's obviously based on me. Look. Then why didn't you think of it yourself then? Huh? Why if, if you could think of the Cody Dork plush yourself, why didn't you make one? Why would I want to make a doll of me that people bully? See, that, see, you didn't even think of it. You, you're asking why when I did it and it's making money and now you're jelly. Well, Junior, I'm just mad that it's based on me and you didn't even offer to pay me. Uh, okay, listen, I'm not paying you because you didn't think of it. Maybe think of your own ideas. Well, you... Uh, look, 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 watch the commercial I made and maybe it'll change your mind. What, a commercial? <laughs> la, 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 la. I'm such a happy dork. Hey, nerd, give me your lunch money. <laughs> Okay, fine, but I have to go home and grab it first. Well, hurry up and get it before I beat you up. Okay. Gosh, I hate being bullied. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, do you hate being bullied? Well, yeah, I just said that. Plus, he broke my glasses. Well, try out the new Cody Dork plush. What's this? It's a plush that he can bully instead of you. What, really? Try it out. Hey, bully, come here. Hey, nerd, you got my lunch money yet? I have something better. Instead of bullying me, why don't you try beating this up? Huh, let me try it. Hey, that felt just as good. I don't have to beat you up anymore. I'll just beat up this doll. And my feelings aren't hurt. Yay! I would recommend this product. Introducing the Cody Dork Plush. Only $19.99. Listen to these reviews from our happy customers. Hi there. My name's Judy. Is that my mom? Shh. My little Cody's not always home. So when he's not, I can just yell at this instead. Why didn't you clean your room, you little dork? So if you want your very own Cody Dork Plush and you don't want to be bullied anymore, order now. So, Cody, what do you think? I think I'm suing you. That's better than last time. See, before he was gonna sue me, now he's just thinking about it. No, I am definitely suing you. You just said you were thinking about it. Come on, dude, make up your mind. Are you on the fish or not? I am 100% suing you. For what? Junior, you stole my lightning. I didn't steal anything. I thought of this with my own imagination. Cody, you can, your mind can't fathom the things I create in my head. Junior, we both know that's bullshit. I didn't steal anything, Cody. I already mass produced it. I've already been selling them. Stop trying to take this from me. I don't care, Junior. I'll see you in court. Well, well, I'll see you in court. Okay, fine. I thought you were gonna be like, no, please don't. Why would I say that? Like, you know, in Looney Tunes, like, they say the other thing and you say Junior, the other... you're not gonna Bugs Bunny me out of suing you. I'll see you in court. Oh, no. Darn it. I guess I have to get a lawyer with my $40. <sighs> order, 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 order. Today, we will be hearing the case of Goldie Nutkiss versus Junior. Cody is suing Junior for stealing his likeness and profiting off of it. Mr. Nutkiss, proceed with your accusation. Well, Your Honor, my client is clearly being taken advantage of. Everything about the Cody Dork doll has been stolen from my client's likeness. It has the big goofy glasses, just like my client. It has pimples all over its disgusting face, just like my client. It even has big yellow teeth, just like my client. Okay, I, I think they get it. Okay, and what we're doing is we're suing for all the profits made off the Cody Dork doll, and we want the production to be ceased immediately. Oh, yes, I do see some similarities between the Cody Dork doll and your client. Junior! How do you defend against these accusations? Your Honor, this whole trial is just silly and a waste of taxpayer money. The Cody Dork doll looks nothing like his client. So what if it has glasses? My grandma has glasses. So what if it has pimples all over its face? My grandma has pimples all over her ass. And so what if he has yellow teeth? My grandma has yellow teeth. For all I know, this could be my grandma. Frankly, Your Honor, I think his client is just full of himself because he thinks this this doll is him. I mean, who hasn't heard a song on the radio and thought, this song is about me? It describes what I'm going through perfectly. But I can't sue the artist just because they wrote a song that describes my life. Yeah, you can't sue somebody just for coming up with an idea before you did. He didn't come up with the idea before me. He just stole what I look like and turned it into a doll. Its name is the Cody Dork Doll, for God's sake. Cody with a K. Ah, yes, Your Honor, let the record show that's a Cody with a K, not a C. Good with a K, not a C. Got it. Junior, if, as you claim, this doll was not based on your friend Cody, how did you come up with the idea? Uh, um... Go ahead, get, tell him. Tell him how you came up with the idea. Uh, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, okay. One second, Your Honor. What's up? 
Um, so, like, I only thought of it because of Cody. What, are you serious? If you told me that, I wouldn't have taken this case. Well, no, 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 I, I just made it so I could bully Cody more. I didn't think he was going to get this mad and sue me. Oh, my God, we're going to lose this case. No, 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 let's just lie. Well, I can't lie. But why not? Because every time I lie, I yell the word cheese. What? It's just like a nervous tick I have, but only in the courtroom. Which well, don't lie. Okay, I'll, I'll try to say it in a way where I don't lie. Uh, your, your Honor, uh, my client, uh, he, he, uh, he, he came up with the idea... Uh, in, a, in a dream he had. Cheese! A, a, a dream about cheese. Cheese! <laughs> cheese, can, can you believe that? <laughs> Mr. Guy, if you yell the name of another dairy product in my court, I will hold you in contempt. Do you understand me? Yes, Judge, I understand. Okay, kid, you're gonna have to talk from now on. I can't lie anymore. Well, I'll just lie. No, that's not gonna work, because if I know somebody else is lying, I still yell cheese. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, okay, uh, so, Your Honor, uh, the way I came up with the Cody Dork plush is, uh, uh, I had a friend mm -hmm. named Cody, mm -hmm. but it's not that Cody. Cheese! 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 Lying. He told me he came up with that doll from his friend Cody over there. I didn't know when he hired me, I promise. Please don't yell at me. Well then, that was pretty damning evidence. I have no choice but to rule in favor of Cody Nutkiss. Junior, you must cease all production of the Cody Dork doll and give over all profits you have made to Cody. And that is in order. Yes, 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 yes! Damn, I'm good! I haven't lost the case yet! Yeah, I'll just be taking this and destroying it. Ooh, and I guess this $40 is mine too. Wait, dude, what is he doing with the ice cream money? He won the lawsuit. What's wrong, Junior? Moping because I got the best of you. Look, you got your dumb money, now leave me alone. What are you talking about? Look, I was just a little boy with a dream. I had a bright imagination. I had a dream of making my own little Cody Dork plush. And you just took it and destroyed it. Junior, you were literally trying to profit off of my likeness without my permission. I'm not going to feel sorry for you. I was just trying to have fun. I was trying to be creative and make a little bit of spare change. Instead, you just crushed my dreams because you're greedy and you just think about money. Junior, I get that you're trying to make me feel bad, but I do not feel bad for you. What's his problem, dude? He's mad that you took his month. Wow! What, what, what? Did you really think this was about the month all along? Yeah, you want June and you don't want February. Well, I don't care about the month! It doesn't feel right, huh? Only 28 days? Huh? Wait, no, no it, was the, it was the doll, not, not the month. I don't care about the month. Then give up the month. I, I don't, I'm not in charge of that. I can't do that. Okay, it's February. Just say it's February. It's February, fine. Okay, see? <sighs> what do I do now, Joseph? Cody has all the stupid money and he ruins my fun, so I can't make another Cody Dork plush. Why don't you just make something new? <gasps> I got an idea. I can make this. Introducing the Joseph plush. I told you this is my turf. Ugh, <laughs> get off my turf, punk. You're going to break me some bread, loser. Ugh, 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 ugh. Watch the eye. Thank you. Can I help you guys? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Premiering August 13th in Fridays. This is Cartoon Network. If you two are happy, then I'm happy for you. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. <laughs> and Thunder is at McDonald's. I can get one of 10 toys and Mighty Apples in my Happy Meal. Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder in theaters July 8th rated PG-13. This is it! Woohoo! Welcome to Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Watch the eye. Thank you. 
Can I help you guys? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Premiering August 13th in Fridays. This is Cartoon Network. Sweet this morning in Pondy Pandy, but not for long. Oh, I can see the headlines in the paper now. Pondy Pandy Wonder Boy makes Pongy a stink bomb in the world. Now then, let's see what happens when I add this red liquid to this green liquid. Then. <laughs> Tricks and Dillis. Prettier than ever, I see. Oh, Trevor, you are a card. Aye, I know. Now listen, the Ponty Pandy male voice choir are singing in the hall tonight, Dillis. How about coming to see them with me? Oh, Trevor. Well, I don't know. Well, I mean, I suppose I, I could make it. I, I wouldn't mind hearing the choir sing. Right. Pick you up at seven o'clock. Get the glad rags on, Billy. Oh, he's so manful. There, that sorted it out, sir. Needed a, a, a good decog, I think, what? No, I just changed the plugs and tuned the engine up a little, sir. Yes. Yes, well, I, uh, I still think we should go out for a trial run after lunch, uh, just to verify the repair. Uh, what, uh, Fireman Sam? Aye, well, anything you say, sir. Bolognese, Bolognese, come and see my Bolognese. Better than the best, any day, smell is brilliant. Anyway, group, be 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 Not for long! Now, that, that's what I call Gordon Blue Cocaine. <laughs> Funny. That smell... Well, it smel smells different. Oh, oh. oh! That's Feynman Cridlington cooking up another gastronomic delight, sir. <laughs> ah! My word! That's quite an aroma. It's rather like rotten eggs. I think that trial run for Jupiter's on, sir. Skip uh, lunch, shall we? Ah, yes, good idea, Five and Sam. Oh, hey, hey, just a minute. Wait, wait, now where are you going? Hey, hang, lunch is ready. It'll go cold. Oh, this colouring stuff will surprise him. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more, I want no more. Feed me till I, I... Mr. Evans? Yes? Why are you in your best suit? Well, I'm taking Dillis up to all I am. I want to look my best, see? Feed me Don't you me know any pop songs, I Mr. Evans? Want oh, Mr. Evans? Aye? The bus is leaking. Eh? Oh, no. Oh, Dado, you're quite right. 
Oil, that is. Hey, those new plugs are, are working a treat now, sir. Uh, yes, yes, I thought it was probably the plugs. Ah, ah, oh, there's Trevor Evans. Oh, hang on, hang on, I... Oh, I can't steer. Good gracious! Evans above. Oh, no! Oh, bit of a close shave there, sir. Just check things over anyway. Uncle Sam! Uncle Sam! It's okay, kids. Hey, are you all right? Well, oh! Oh. Well, we're fine, Trevor. Only a little scrape. How about you? Oh, it was just a slip. But it's the bus, you see. Dripping oil, she is. Hi. <laughs> Not just the bus, is it, Trev? Well, we better deal with this, sir, I suppose. Better leave the bus here, Trevor. We'll get Morgan the garage to look at it later. Right, too, Sam. Sorry, kids. New town's out today. Oh, oh. But we'll take you all back to Ponty Pandy in Jupiter. Oh, great, Uncle Sam. Smashing! I think I'll make some more stinkers. Now then, red into green. Uh, oh, no, no, was it green into to red? Well, no, what did I do last time? <laughs> well, Lillis, those earrings do make you look like a duchess. Now let's just add the finishing touch. <coughs> there. Now. A little bit of soiree in Paris. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. that smells more like soiree in a sweat. No, Norman. Norman, give me that blooming chemistry set. Oh, what are you, hello, Mum? You going out? Oh, you smell nice. I'll give you smell nice, Norman Price. Come here! Oh! Oh, oh jumping jelly beans! Jupiter 999, over. Step on it, Fireman Sam. Miss is a prize. Miss a prize. Is a fire? Is up in Norman's bedroom, Sam. Leave this to the fire service, Bella. <laughs> oh, my, my mum's still in there. <laughs> OK, sir. I'll go. <laughs> Can we help? No, stand well back. I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident. Don't worry, Norman. Uncle Sam knows what he's doing. Oh! Oh! Sam! Oh! Oh, Mum's all right. Oh! I said, oh, I said, oh! Just put, put me down, will you? Just put me down! That's it, Dill. Safe and sound now. Safe and sound I may be, but look at the state I'm in. I can't go to the concert like this. <laughs> Neither can I, Dillis. Oh, Trevor Buck, what's happened to you? I slipped up a bit with the oil, see? Grub's up, sir. Well, <laughs> at least it smells like spaghetti bolognese. Yes, and, and, and it tastes like spaghetti bolognese. Only thing is... I am not sure the colour's quite right. Well, I think we can put that down to somebody's chemistry set. When we use the firebell chime, Fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam. So hurry, hurry, Fireman Sam. Always on the scene, Fireman If you 
two are happy, then I'm happy for you. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky, because really, I'm fine. <laughs> There's a buzz in the air today. The firemen of Pontypandy are preparing to celebrate their station's 50th birthday with a fireworks party. Testing. Testing. Hello. One, I, uh, I, I, two, I think that's everything. Um, hello. Uh, can, you, can you hear me? Can... Oh. Norman, do you have to? Oh. One, two. Um, um, one, two. Cridlington! Oh, oh, yes, yeah, sir. To address the public, I need a public address system that addresses the public. Oh, oh, I, I, I forgot to, to plug it in, see? Well, just hang on to this, Trev. I'll go and fetch some more nails. Right, to Sam. Come, Megabril! We'll have some fun with these. Hello, Norman. Oh, now what are you up to? Give that to me. Very dangerous things, fireworks. You're too young to handle them. I was only looking, Fireman Sam. Ah, now this should be a good one. Intergalactic explosion. <laughs> oh! Norman! Who? Me? I need uh, some cherries, uh, some raisins, and some nuts. Special cake, is it, Bella? See, it's for the party tonight. Morning, ladies. Paper, please. Here you are, Sam. Thanks, dearest. Oh, I see your smoke alarms have arrived. They're the approved ones, too. They save lives, you know. Well, there's a lot of careless people around. I don't need a smoke signal myself. Smoke alarm, Dillis. I don't know about that, though. Oh. Too many plugs in that socket, see? Now, too many plugs in one socket can cause fires. Oh, I think I'll buy a one for the coffee. Hey, well, I'll tell you what. I'll fix the alarm for you this afternoon, if you like. Oh, grazie, Sam. It will be a beautiful cake for the party. I put it in the oven. You can fix it, Sam? No problem, Bella. Simple. Just needs a couple of screws, that's all. There we are. All set to go. Molto bene. How's it work, Uncle Sam? Well, if something starts to smolder, the smoke makes the alarm go off letting you know and giving you a chance to get out of the house safely, because fire spreads very quickly. And then you phone the fire service. That's right, sir. Well done. I hope the house never catches fire. Well, the best thing to do is to prevent it. Hey, now this is no good, you know. Don't leave toys by the fire. They might catch a light. Yes, it's very, very silly. Actually, Bella, the guard should be around the fire, too. Even I knew that. But it's a lot more dangerous to play with matches. I don't know. Sorry, Uncle Sam. 
They're not toys, you know. Now then, what if the smoke alarm goes off? Do you know the fire brigade's motto? No, no. Get out, get the fire brigade out, stay out. Can we have a practice, Uncle Sam? Good idea, that. Ah, right. Now, when I press this counter buzzer, we'll pretend that it's the alarm and get out. Ready? Fire! Let's go! Fire! A fire! We've got out. We must get the fire brigade out. And we must stay out. I'll phone 999. It's all right, James. It's only a practice. Oh, cuddles. He'll get burnt. No, no, Sarah. Never go back into your house or school once you've got out. You might get trapped by the fire. But I forgot cuddles. Even for your favourite teddy bear. Oh, that's all right for some. Feeling hungry, James? You bet. Here I come. Time for the tea. Look, I make the sandwiches. Lots of sandwiches. Oh, banana sandwiches. And you made some cheese and chutney ones. Thanks, Bella. Right, everybody. What do you do? Get out. Come on, Cuddles. Get the fire brigade out. And, uh, and uh, we, we must stay out. Good. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, Mrs. Oh. Price. Oh, I am not a spinning top. And anyway, what's so interesting outside? These are the coffee. He's on the fire. Coffee's all right, Bella. But the cake's had it, I'm afraid. Ladies, gentlemen and children, on this auspicious occasion, it gives me great um, pleasure to declare this 50th birthday celebration open. I... I can't see, Mum. Keep behind the barrier, Master Price. You might get hurt. Norman, come here. Poor old <laughs> Norman. Oh, oh, look, Bella, it's Rosa. Oh, uh -oh. my Rosa. Come here, boy. <laughs> She go? Got you. I'll take her into the station, Sam. Hey, good man, Trev. You see, Bella, pets should be kept indoors, nice and quiet when fireworks are about. They get frightened, see? I don't know how she got out. Have you been fiddling with the fireworks box, Elvis? Oh, well, I... I, no, uh, I don't know. Look, you must remember to put the lid back on next time and every time. And what's this? Oh, heck. Not in your pocket, Elvis. You know it's not safe. Right, Fireman Sam. What are we waiting for? Fire away. Very good, sir. Now, this one will start it off with a bang. Now, where's the torch so we can see what's what? It's all right. I, I got the light here. Oh, well done. No. Don't light a match, Fireman Criddington. Never for... For reading the instructions. I, I forgot. What's the delay now? Oh, fine, how do you do? Ready, sir? You always use a tape, eh, see? And stand well back. Here we go, then. Swiss. No good, that Elvis. Uh, perhaps it's gone out. Elvis! Fireman Criddlington, never go back to a firework. It might explode in your face. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Man. Man. Jolly good. Oh, Mum, it's smashing. Yes. 
It is lovely, isn't it? Remember now, fireworks are fun if you let grown-ups look after them. Cheerio now. When he used the firebell chime, the fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam, so hurry, hurry, fireman Sam. He's always on the scene, fireman Sam, and his engine's bright and clean. Fireman Sam, you cannot ignore. Sam is the hero next door. <laughs>